Welcome to What the Bachelor. <laughs> I am your host, Holly Julian, and I am your other host, Megan Evie. So, guys, have you? <laughs> did you watch this? <laughs> the drama. Honey. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Turn it off. So unprofessional, this one, guys. So oh, unprofessional. I know. Oh, oh this my so god. Happening. Okay, guys. Um, I mean, there was a lot happening. Yes. I mean, I thought, I thought last week had like a shit ton of drama, and Megan wasn't even oh. here for the drama. I was. She it. was in Mexico. I was in Cancun. Me. But I'm happy she's back. Sorry, who everybody who loved Blake as my co-host last week, because I got a lot of messages that people loved You're him on the show. You're stuck with me. You're stuck. He, sorry, friends. Yeah, he drank a little too much and spilled the beans he on drank everything. He just so, enough, but and I'm, it was the best. I am happy. Speaking of spilling, oh lord. <laughs> um, okay, guys, this is our show, What the Bachelor. We are talking about everything that just happened on the last episode and. Number one rule here, no spoilers. None. We don't want to know what happens. I don't like to read the ends of the book before I read the beginning of the no, book. Girl. I'm not that kind of girl. We that so kind don't of. tell me don't tell what us. happens at the end of the show. Better not. Um, but great news. You guys are watching live on Facebook. You can also watch on YouTube. And we are now on Apple Podcasts. So Check us out, guys. If you're driving in the car you want to listen to us, you can tune in now. So make sure to subscribe to those. And let's get this party started. Yeah. Well, hold on. I feel like we should have like a little cap of like last week into this one. Yeah, just so Because there was a little bit of like, it kind of went into this week a little bit. And I think, jo John, do you have a oh, little video? Megan's little recap video? I think we have a video of last week's recap. Do you? Here it comes. Okay. No, like, listen. Wait a second. The, I brought that one all the way from... Des Moines. How could you? I had no idea. It was a really nice bottle of cooks. You knew. I had no idea. The ideas that I had were none. You knew that I brought that bottle. I had no idea. You knew. I had no idea. I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay. Woo we can drink from the bottle. I'm not a classy bitch all the time. I'm just, I'm so over it. I'm just over it. You knew exactly what you were doing. You knew. You're fake and I'm real. You're a fake bitch. And that was the last week's episode in a nutshell. She was a fake bitch. She <laughs> she, she was a calculated fake bitch. That was so good. And I a bully, it. apparently. We should, let's just, you know, spend our time making these videos and then showing them to you guys because that's really entertaining. <laughs> that's literally what I do. All the time. Okay, so yeah, she does. So we started this off, episode off with a one on one, just straight like, into a one on one. Full on cowboy boot scooting boogie, boot scooting into his heart. <gasps> okay, Better than moonwalking. Victoria P. We okay. We discussed my I, that I moonwalked on my season of The Bachelor. Mm -hmm. We are uh -huh. gonna discuss it. That's over. Yes. Um, <laughs> Last week, no, this week. This week. <laughs> this week. This we're, past we're, episode. Guys, she's making me have a drink. <laughs> she's literally had two sips the mm. entire time. She's hammered. Welcome to the party. So, no, literally. So, it was a one-on-one -on -one right off the gate with the caretaker as... Victoria P. Blake likes to call her. Blonde, but, where's... Glasses sometimes, all the time. Sometimes but, I don't think she needs them. But they're not real because they have no magnifying in it. I think I, don't, I anyway. think they're those like blue. She got it from Claire's glasses. Um, yeah, we my, don't know why we, she wears them. My ten year old has them. Megan's favorite person on this season. But okay, so listen. Like you would think that one would be like, oh my god, she's a nurse. Like yes, nurse power. Yes, we got it together. I just don't feel like she's genuine. Like the whole thing. Like she's got a lot of issues. She's got a lot of baggage. 
I I don't think she's genuine. However, she's the cutest little cowgirl I've she ever is seen. Cute as hell. She's like, cute. I like I like how she looks, and I keep thinking every time she is on screen, I keep thinking, gosh, she's so naturally beautiful. She really she is. is so naturally beautiful. And then I really look at her and I think. Okay, she has she's got veneers, and, and then she might I have her lips done. Her lips are done. She's got and a little then bit of I think, here. And then I saw her in her bathing suit, and I thought, oh, I think her she got her boobs done. And then I was like, it doesn't matter. She's doing this. She does look natural. I'm like, wow. I want to look as natural. I as want her. to look that naturally yes. beautiful. Yes. Right. I've got. I'm gonna put breasticles my, instead of testicles. I think <laughs> that I'm going to start wearing my fake glasses. All the time. Next week, guys, fake glasses. Oh, our recap video for next week. Fake glasses. And, okay, um, so, also, <laughs> do you think that her daddy thinks she's the best French kisser in town mm -hmm. since they were bait skating away? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they, guess what? They climbed into that airplane at the end of that day. Oh, they were dry humping mm -hmm. it raw. Airplane's the new windmill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they were raw when they got done with that, for sure. Okay, so, but that date really wasn't, like, It was lackluster. It mm -hmm. wasn't a whole lot to talk about. However, I, I, I underlined it as the talk. Like, it literally was, like, the champagne talk. Like, who knew that champagne could be so exciting? And You did. You know. Oh, yeah. You I, know that champagne's that exciting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what's in my cup right now. <laughs> but according to Hannah Ann, it was a fidasco. Yes. The whole champagne gate was a fidasco. Yeah, Kelsey and Hannah Ann. I thought there was going to be way more <laughs> to them again. I was like, I didn't want it. Don't give me no, any more Kelsey like, Hannah Ann. I don't want to hear about champagne for a long time. But I do. I do. I, know. I do. But I was very surprised they didn't keep up that. They made them sit and talk to each other. Yeah. They had their little... Making up their own words. Yeah. Fid Fidasco. Fidasco. That, I would... Um, yeah. We're going to have a... It, I hated when she was like, I would never steal anyone's champagne. Oh, Why? I was just sobbing. Sobbing. Why is that a thing? Like... Bitch, there's, if you steal my champagne. There's real problems in life. We want, we, <laughs> there are real problems like, in life. You, also, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Pretty lackluster up until this point of the episode. You know? I feel like, like, like the end of it was definitely like, wha bam but then, like, the rest of it was kind of like, what the hell are we going to yeah. fucking talk about? Oh, guess what we're going to talk about, though. Let's talk about it, though. So, the Demi debacle date. Demi I comes in. Her. Okay, so as soon as this Demi walks in, Megan obviously doesn't know who Demi I don't is because she, like she doesn't watch the show. Mm -hmm. Well, Demi walks in. I was like, "You're gonna love her, Megan. You're absolutely gonna love her. She is just like you, just a right. wild, spunky little thing." And she walks in, and Megan's like, "Mm-hmm, I, I love like her. her. I, like, I her. like her. I like her a lot. I dig her." So yes, so she comes in. They beat up all these girls with the pillows, which is, I mean, sounds so fun. Um, group date, pillow fight. Pillow fight. Just what every man wants to see. Okay, can we please talk about, like, <laughs> Tammy. Tammy was like, yeah, I'm going to pillow fight. Like, as soon as I saw Tammy on this like, date, I was like, going Tammy down. is the flipper. She flips people. She did that in her, um, like, her promo video before the show aired. She I was got like, a bigger wiener Tam than Peter. Tammy like, sure is going to murder people on this like, date. And then it's like, she got Disqualified. I was like, you, I mean, she had, I give her so much. I was like, yeah, she's going to kill this date. No. Nope. Okay, I really like her, but I like the fact that she even said to Peter at one point, you think of me as a bro. You think of me as a bro. And then he kisses her. Which I know. I'm like, all right, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I don't, you're not, I mean, nobody. you might kiss your bro, but I mean, <laughs> okay. I hope and not. then, so, Alea. 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 I. Uh, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> I am not fake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, I can't stand her. Like, Alea, I loved her. Alea wins mm. the, the, the whole thing, and then she wins a crown. Bitch. Bitch. You but don't need mm. another crown. Mm. But, the, okay, that's not even the bad thing. The bad thing is that she wears it. She, the whole The time. whole time. The, the whole rest of the date, she doesn't take the crown off. Like, you're so annoying to Get me right now. Get over it. Well, so, okay, I like, okay, so she, I called her Grandma Rose at the very beginning, like the first episode, because she had the letter from her grandma, Grandma Rose, blah, 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 blah. Like, I really yeah. liked her. And then I'm, I see her, and she's drunk with, like, the captain's hat, like, the pilot's hat on, and she is like, 
drunk and I was like I kind of like her like she's kind of like I dig her because she's but that about- was that was the real her oh that was her and I really liked her because she was like I have no one to turn it on and I want to turn it off yeah that was the she- before has I didn't make this <laughs> yeah, yeah. you dare see right. okay but oh uh, okay so she Grandma Rose going back to Grandma Rose day, night or yeah the night he gets she gets out of the limo she's got the, the letter from the Grandma Rose I now knowing about her, I think she went and researched uh, yeah. that he had a Grandma Rose. She probably don't even have a Grandma oh, Rose. Hell no. And she went back and was like, I'm going to say this is from my Grandma Rose, and then we're going to have that in common. It's going to be this serendipitous moment. And we're going to fall in love. She planned that out. She sure, like, I mean, I felt she was very rehearsed. Like, she's probably been in, like, toddlers and tiaras, been in pageants since she was, like, eight months mm-hmm. old, wearing the flippers and all that bullshit, looking like she's, like, full on. Yeah, like, it's for, I didn't know a lot about pageants my whole life. And now that I am heavily involved in pageants through my job, I know these pageant girls and mm-hmm. I know the girls that have grown up in pageants. Mm-hmm. And Versus they, the ones that just kind of come into yeah, it. Yeah, like the new girls that come in and they're super real. And then there's pageant girls who have an answer for everything. Mm-hmm. Everything sounds rehearsed and calculated. It's because they are trained to speak like that. From literally the time they were able to talk. And it was, you could definitely tell like that's what she was doing. And like after the fact when she was like kind of talking and then homegirl, what was her name? Sydney called her out. She's like, I think that you're fake. I feel, I feel like you're calculated. She's like, I don't know what you're saying. Like, I'm not. I'm so real. Like, what makes you think that I'm so calculated? I'm like, bitch, I'm about to punch mm-hmm. you in the face. Hmm. Like, I love, I laughed. I laughed a little bit laughed out loud when Peter said, I have a really good feeling about you to, <laughs> to Alea. Like, you are not a good judge no, of character no, at this point. <laughs> and, like, he's so cute. Like, I literally, Ugh. Uh, how many times did we say during the oh, whole episode? He's so of, like, handsome. He's so handsome. Like, he's just, like, the boy next door. You And he's so kind and he's so caring. Like, you just feel like, when you see, like, these bitches are like, I'm giving you everything I have, and I just love you, and I've been through so much in my life, and he's just really looking at him like, like, he, like, cares, and I'm like, yeah, get I- out of here, <laughs> get out of here, you're annoying to me, these girls, but he is precious, we love him. Okay, so we're on the group date, and the nighttime group date after the pillow fight group date, and we have, Ke- he gets to see Kelly again, Kelly is the girl that he knew previously. Oh, I like her a lot, like, he I knew really Kelly like her. previously, mm-hmm. and he gets to, you know, see her again tonight, and he... It's just smitten. Like you, you can, can tell, s- he likes her. Yep, you can see it in his eyes that he really likes her. But I really feel like she genuinely likes him too. Like she was like, if it weren't for you and our previous connection, I don't feel like I would stay here. Like I feel like I would have been long gone, long time ago. And I, I, I felt that in my soul. And she straight up was like, um, your facial hair is too long. You're gonna need to shave that. And he's like, okay. That's like, wife material. He likes her because otherwise he'd be like, no, bitch, this, this, the, is, this is what I look like. Almost. Like, this is my this, life. I like this look. And then she, he's like, no, no, no. Okay, I'll shave. I'll shave for you. My husband does tell me that I need to shave my facial hair too. That it does <laughs> get a little bit too long. I, so I, can, <laughs> I feel his pain on that. <laughs> Um, Oh, because your poor husband has to deal with you. Hi, Adam. Okay, so then we get, then Sydney gets to talk to. Yes, and I I really like her. And, like, I I didn't know who she was at first. Like, I was like, what is her name? I don't even know her name. I think she's beautiful. I think Sydney is beautiful. Stunning. Have you guys seen season two of You? Because the 15-year-old girl in the show looks exactly like Sydney. Wait a sec, I did, okay, I watched a uh, half of the first right? episode. Am I right? I feel like, am I right? She's ditzy. No, no, she's just, she's this, no, they're beautiful, they're just, it's just a young, beautiful girl, and every time I see her, I think, this girl is not old enough to be on The Bachelor, she's 15. Like, and then she's, she's on it. But I like that she called out Alea, like, she was like, I don't feel like she's being that genuine to you, and I was like, yes, yes. Okay, so a question for you. Regarding the whole thing. What were we going to say? I was going to say, like, uh, Peter called her out. Well, so that's what I wanted to know. So whenever he, like, he gets done talking to her and then he comes back and he sits with all these women and he's like. 
That never Sydney's, happens. Usually it's like behind the scenes, like, hey, just tell me who it was. He sits, he straight yeah, up like, gets in front of all the girls and was like, all right, so this happened. Sydney, Sydney said, Alea, that you a fake ass bitch. Like, no, like, tell, no, 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 he didn't even say Alea. Sydney said, someone in here is fake. Who is it? And then she's like, uh, but then she was um, like, what all right, doing? like, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, it was, it was home, homegirl. Like, she called her out, and, like, the whole time when, <laughs> I love the way they kind of had it, because Alea was kind of in the background, and, like, the fire was coming up, and she was saying that, like, she's, like she's disingenuous, and, like, the fire's coming up, and she's like, I just feel like you don't know how to act real. Do you feel that way? And she was like, the fire's, like, right here, and, like, she just was like, the fire's about to come through her eyeballs. At Sydney right yep. now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so mm-hmm. what I wanted to ask you is, do you think that, or like with your previous background of being on The Bachelor, do you think the producers were like, hey, I want you to go sit in all of those girls and bring up this drama right now? Or do you think that was his own like calculation that, of what he wanted to do? That seemed like he brought it up himself. I think he was, I think he's not playing by the rules as previous bachelors and bachelorettes have. Um, He's done a lot of things differently that I keep writing down because I'm like, oh, like, yeah. oh, like that's different. And for him to go and call out. Like he called her he out. He called her out to yeah. tell the whole group because I think he wanted answers. And I think girls, behind, like when you're one-on-one with someone and you're talking to them, you can get a different story. But if you say it in front of the whole group, other girls will call you out. They will be you're like, lying. yes, yes. Mm, you're lying. <laughs> you're lying. So I think, I mean, that was smart of him. I would have been shocked if I were, I mean, if I were Sydney and that happened, I would have like, I would have felt like I shit my pants. Like, oh my God. A deer in headlights. Oh Mm. my God. You just call me out. How are you going to call me out in front of everybody right now? Yeah. But then, okay. So usually tattling is the worst thing you can do in the bachelor house. Like nobody. Everybody was tattling. Yeah. Everybody. It's the worst thing you can do. It's like, you're done after that. It's like, okay, thank you. I used you for the information. Now you're going home. (laughs) And in this case, he was Again, like... Again, Peter stepping outside the bachelor box, and he gives the rose to Sydney for... Tattling. Tattling. I'm yep. like, all right, all right, that's yep. new. That's something new that I wasn't expecting. But I felt like it was a very genuine tattle, but also because, like, she literally... Like, when the cameras come on, she's... I, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, no, I'm, I'm so genuine. Like, I, every time she spoke, I felt like she was on stage answering a question to a judge like on a pageant like everything was super calculated and that's why I think that I'm not fake the what did I say when we were watching it the realest thing about her oh god this is so great guys her nose started running during this episode and I was like that's the realest thing about her because everything else it was so calculated and fake and her nose started running. I was like, look, look. She was like, she's real. Like, look at snot, guys. She's real. Yeah, she's like, that's the realest thing about her. And I, I was like, know. true okay. that. True okay, that. Leia. <laughs> like, true that. Yeah, let's ask you some questions. Ale- Hello, oh. Aleah. Hello, <laughs> Aleah. Yeah. Um, are you being real tonight? I, I'm Peter. Are you being real tonight? I have never been fake in my life. <laughs> of course I'm being real. Where is your crown right now? Oh my God, I have 30 crowns. It's actually right here out of my asshole. <laughs> do you fart? Oh God, no. Um, well, when I do fart, it sounds like popcorn and um, it's actually glitter that comes out of my anus. Are you that dirty girl in the captain's hat? Oh. <laughs> Captain's hat gives me dirty, squirty diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and what's up with the girl saying you want a belly rub? Oh, <laughs> and you know what I said whenever she said that? Because oh, she was like, I am so real right now. I was like, fart. Fart if you're real. But then I realized that she was wearing the thong with the pants over top of it. So whenever she farted, it literally was going, <laughs> like there was going to be no sound. And can we please talk about those pants? Because... Her ass was so white. We're not to the pool party yet. We're still at the cocktail party. Sorry, guys. I got really excited. We are at the cocktail party, but we can move on to the pool party, Let's guys. talk about the pool party because I have a lot the to say. The cocktail party, um, I got a lot Sydney to say. gets the rose. She gets the rose because she tattled. But no, but it was a good, sweet, genuine. Yeah. So, okay. Now we're moving on. Next day, we're having a pool <laughs> party. No cocktail party, which 
I love these because it's way more fun than a boring old cocktail party. Uh huh. Uh huh. And you get to see everyone in their swimsuits. Yeah. It's and best that... part about pageants. And yes, it is. Well, used to Ugh, be. Miss America, bring it back. Used to bring back the swimsuits, please, God. Okay, so if you guys notice that they're all sitting around, Chris Harrison walks in and says, Hey, everybody, we're having a pool party today. And Alea has her crown <laughs> sitting next to her. Like, beside her at all it's times. It's like right here on the couch. She's like, mm-hmm. I was like, girl, put that thing away. Nobody cares. Yeah. Nobody cares. Um, okay. And so they're all talking. I think, I think, listen, this is what I think. Alea keeps wanting to talk about this. She's going around group to group to group. And I think it's because she, she wants, wants to believe her own lies. No, no, no. I think she wants more airtime. <laughs> She's smart. I would never think about that. Like she's I'm like, a okay. smart girl. I think she wants more airtime. Who? I don't even know who. Uh, Jessica who Durst, Jody Dursty, Yarborough. Who, who even asked about the belly rub? Who was it? I don't know. Well, you're on my belly. Oh, girl. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdos. <laughs> I laughed so hard, but I was like, she probably feels better now that she farted. No. <laughs> and she wants her belly rub We're now. We're done with that. Okay, no, but I do think she wants more airtime, so I think that's why she keeps going around talking and talking and talking. And then pulls Peter aside. Peter, let's talk about this. Also, Like a pageant girl. Also pulls Sydney aside. Let's talk about this. Uh-huh. Let's I rehash re- it. I really think she's like, I want this episode to be all about me. But I also feel like, too, whenever people are like... They they want to believe their own lies. Like they're like, if I just say it enough times, that I like believe it. I'm gonna believe it, and so will everybody else. Like it's gonna be fine. Right. And I felt like that's what she kind of did too. Like I, it's really smart about the whole airtime thing. But I also feel like maybe if I say it enough times, it's I'll believe my own lie. And mm-hmm. I real I genuinely feel like she is not real. I it's entertaining as all that is. It's like. It's annoying. It is annoying. It's very annoying to watch. But I was like, oh, this is so much fun because this has given us something like, to talk so about. so much to talk about. <laughs> like, I was like, I couldn't stop talking like her either. Like, I was like, uh-huh. Tell me more, Alea. Oh, I know. Like, you're so real. Like, I could not stop talking. Yeah. Like, and it's going to be but then on. We get, then he goes and talks to sweet Mad- Maddie Madison. And, like, as soon as I see her, I'm like, Oh, listen, they are like head to head. Like, oh, we're so in love. We're already so in love. Love you. But they are so sweet. They are. I I genuinely like her. I know that she had her whole Instagram. Thank you. Sorry. Her Instagram debacle with, I'm genuine. Oh, yeah. I'm genuine and real. So if anybody didn't tune in last week, uh, Madison had posted a picture on her Instagram and then commented on her own Instagram and said, thinking it was a different one. What a great day, Maddie. You're, we you're love you. We, we you're so and real. genuine and real. And it was so awkward. Didn't realize she was she still signed in as her. As herself under her own. Anyway, I know I have that in the back of my mind every time I see her and I think, oh, she's so cute and they have such a good connection and she went on this awesome date and got to meet his family. Uh-huh. But also, she also did that. Yeah. And that's kind so of what, what you trying to pull online, girl? Like, I, I just don't know. feel like. Like, text your friends like I do and be like, but hey, girl, he, he did this. He did say to her, you're so genuine. And then I laughed because like, she, she knows it, too. She knows she's genuine. Is she, though? Is she, though? Uh, she's more genuine than Alaya, Yeah, though, but at sure. that pool party, so Peter gets stressed out because this he's pulling Elena, or what's Alaya. her, Alaya aside. Grandma Rose. He's pulling Grandma Rose over and over and over, trying to figure out what's going on. And she is, and she's like, I feel great. I feel so good. And the only thing that I can keep thinking about is I see her nails and they're chipped. I know. That's and all like, I kept staring at. Girl. Um, but Peter, he's really stressed out and he's like so serious and intense. And he's so cute when he's like, that. Oh my God, he's so cute. He's adorable. He's so and then cute. Chris Harrison, when he comes in and was like, He's emotional, <laughs> he's confused. And I was like, <sighs> Yes, I know I like him this way. This is my favorite <sighs> Peter, emotional and confused. And mm. then my Kenna is literally on the sidelines, like, Ah! ah. Like, nobody's heard from my Kenna, like, all episode. And she's sobbing. I'm like, why why is this bitch crying? Like, why is she crying? Yeah. Like, oh, she yeah. was sobbing. I just didn't get any time with him today. Like, <laughs> I literally, I was like, 
bitch, take a seat. Like, nobody cares. Like, you're fine. Calm down. You're acting like my three, 13 year old prepubescent, like, little child right now. Like, take a seat. You're fine. Mm hmm. And, okay, let's discuss Kelsey knowing. <gasps> Kelsey knows. Okay, we've seen this scenario Hannah B and Kaylin. Oh, no, was it Vic? Two seats. Was it Victoria? It was Victoria. It was the nurse that knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But two seasons. Okay. For anyone that know doesn't know Megan, my co-host, she doesn't know anything about The Bachelor. I literally what I've just seen. She's never seen it before. No. And I thought, this is the perfect co-host for the show. I know a lot. I watch it every season, and she knows nothing. So nothing. I know that she was on it. A real That's raw it. opinion of what's raw. happening. So let me tell you, two seasons ago, oh, we have a what? Lacey, Lacey, Lacey Hennessy. Oh, girl, love your name. Are the cameras always rolling, or do they say action to start a scene? It always seems really overproduced this week, and they okay. So yes, it did. Let me tell you that a lot of the scenes are put together. Um, they are. So if that's two what, girls, that's a yeah. Good question. If two girls are not, if they're having a conflict, they're gonna set them in the same room, or they're gonna say, "Hey, go in there and talk to this person." Um, and then really like go ahead and talk this out and they're gonna film the whole thing. So a lot of things are set up. I think um, they do have some cameras now like posted around the house because I think the kitchen angle that might that Alea I think one. I think Alea in the kitchen sitting on the counter, those weren't I don't think those were real cameras because they were angled up high. Yeah. And I think she was being her real authentic self and at I that loved point. Her then. Yeah. Megan kept saying, Oh, who's this girl? I like her a lot. And I was like, Oh, that's like that's Grandma Rose. Like My, she's great. And what? then the season and then the, the show kept going on. I was like, Oh, we don't like her at all. But her real authentic self, which she was not showing anybody, was caught on those cameras. Loved and, it. And I think that Yeah, so they're not always rolling. Um, I sat around the house a lot with no cameras and I filmed in the winter so we couldn't have a pool party. It was freezing out even though it was California. It was chilly and rainy and so I didn't do anything. If there was a group date going out, I would just be at home with one other girl. Really? Mm -hmm. Like there was one night where we, we were like, please can we have McDonald's? Really? And they would go, they went oh, out and yeah, got yeah. us McDonald's. So who cooks you food? Like, like how do you, how do you eat food? So there, this is a fun little fact. There's a, um, there's a, just a piece of paper on the counter in the kitchen. And if you're like really craving something, you just write it on the, the paper. Mm -hmm. And within like a couple hours, your food is there. But it's not like you can be like, I want Taco Bell. Oh you God. know, it's like, I want salad. <laughs> no, nobody wants that. Nobody, no, nobody wants a salad. Except for this one. I do. I, okay. But I remember like, I used to love hot dogs. How funny. <laughs> this is hilarious. I don't eat them anymore. Um, but I wrote, I wrote hot dogs. Like I wanted like junk food all the so time. So do you have to cook, the, cook yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So you cook your own food. Oh, this is some horse and, shit. Yeah. So honestly, the, Blake grew up with a very nurturing um, mom and stepmom. And they, no. And they both cooked. And I didn't know how to cook at all when I got on the show. So I literally was cooking a hot dog in a pan on the stove, and he walked in the kitchen, and he said he was appalled that I was just cooking a hot dog <laughs> in a pan. Now and he was out. like, oh, my God, that's like, this is not the girl for me. Hey, <laughs> Abby, I... Abby writes in and said they don't eat. They don't eat. But that's true on dates. You never see them eating on dates. The, the food always gets cold. Anyway, so the food on the the show you do cook yourself um rose ceremony nights and cocktail parties you know they have a whole kitchen filled with food so you don't have to do anything you just have to get ready and, and go downstairs you come. and then you get your you pick out whatever dinner you want okay but the one night when all the girls were out of the house and it was just me and one other girl we asked we're like can we please get mcdonald's what did and you, then they, what brought, did you they brought us the what did you eat though Back then, I don't know, probably chicken nuggets God, yeah, and french fries. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Save the chickens. <laughs> oh, hell. Oh. Uh, what was I saying before? We were talking about Kelsey. Oh, Kelsey. Kelsey's the champagne gate. Right, right. Okay, okay so yeah. this this scenario now has played itself out twice in two like back-to-back -back seasons because Colton season, um, 
there was two girls, pageant girls, Hannah B, who was just the previous uh-huh. bachelorette, and another girl named Kaylin, and they were two pageant girls. They competed at Miss USA together, and they brought them in. They knew each other, and they were roommates and did not. They had bad blood. They and didn't so disclose that. They walked into it and were they, so did no, they, they did. They did. They the, know that each other. They were going to be on the yes, whole thing. Yes, and then they went in and told everybody, "We know each other." Like. I hate her. So th- this was kind of sneaky of... Alea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alea to be like, to Victoria. Like, like, don't tell them that I know her. Like, yeah. you better not say anything that we know each other. Because, okay, and Sneak- then she also oh, said... Oh, yeah. She was like... I don't want to get disqualified. Like, literally, that's pageant coaching right there, I felt like. Like, how can you get disqualified from marriage? Like, what? Yeah, disqualified. She's like, I didn't want to get. I didn't get, want to get disqualified. I didn't get disqualified. And I was like, this is a, this is a this show is to find your husband. Not, this is not a disqualification like a pageant, guys. Like it was the weirdest thing ever. But then I, I thought it was very smart of Victoria to be like, I don't want to tell you this, but she told me not to tell the producers that I know that I know her. But they also had conflicting stories. Um, Victoria said, I know her of all of three hours. And then Alea said, we, like, pretty much go way back. We have a lot of mutual friends. And I was like, wait, now who do I believe? I already don't trust Victoria P. I don't trust her very much, but I do trust her more than I trust Alea. Yeah. Alea just doesn't seem she just, real. She is so, like, on. Like, she is, like, this was her episode. Like, I felt like she was, like, I am here to fake everybody. Like, that's, like, the impression that I just got from her. And I really, like, I'm really sad because I really did genuinely like her. And she just screwed it all up for me. And as much as I don't like Victoria and I feel like she's just disingenuine, I thought that was genuine of her. I secretly hoped that she, when Alea got confronted again by Peter and and he said, she's going to, she said she knows you from the pageant, said you didn't know her i was like throw her under the bus or something I'm else like, like we you were know t- some crap yes. about her go ahead and say it now I'm she's like, got a weenie <laughs> like i just knew something was gonna happen like she's got crabs but just like say anything something anything but like she didn't but like her face whatever he was like telling he's like so i know that you told victoria that you 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 told her to tell the producers that we don't know each other and her face was like like, and it was like, can't compute, can't, I, I, I don't know, I don't what, know I, what I, to do. But, I mean, good recovery on being like, I didn't, I didn't want to I be, didn't want to be disqualified. disqualified. <laughs> I'm here to win the pageant. Where's my crown? Yeah. Am I going to get my crown taken away from me? Like, she's beautiful. She's stunning, gorgeous. Like, even with no makeup on, like, she's still like a soft five, like, with it. Like, and whenever yeah. I have no makeup on, it's like... Look at this bum, like yeah. in, the, in the gutter. These, <laughs> I know, it's so hard because these girls go from no makeup to like full glam like full every day. On. And I, I mean, we all look rough with no makeup on. That's just a true story. But I wouldn't be. I mean, this is this is television, guys. Like, like put on a natural. I put I put makeup, makeup on and then to go to the gym. <laughs> oh, I'm not supposed to say that. She don't. She wears nothing to the gym. She's naturally beautiful. I got up and put makeup on before I even walked downstairs to be on camera. I look like I a butch lesbian ready to change a carburetor right. they with would no kick makeup me on. Off. They would be like, oh, The Bachelor's here. <laughs> if I walked down the stairs with no makeup on. <laughs> and then as soon as I put my face on, I'm like, oh, oh it's, it's mm, the drag queen. Mm. Is she a man? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But here I am. Okay, so Peter had a hard decision. And he did, and he was very um, dramatic about it. It was very dramatic the way they're yeah. like, Peter's upset. I, so that last Peter's not here. That last rose. I guess we shouldn't spoil it for the people watching on the East well, Coast. Well, like they, they're watching us. Like they know that we're for right after the Bachelor. So like we're here to talk about. So we're not. It's not a spoiler alert because it's already aired. Yeah, it has aired. Okay, you're fine. All right, you're fine. Um, yeah, I am fine. Are you greedy fan? Uh, yeah. So he. I mean, he that last rose was dramatic AF. He had two roses left, guys. Dramatic. And he walks out and he's like, "All right, let's just take one away." Take-
take it away. And you know that was what's her face's rose. 100% in my canna was literally losing her ever loving mind. My like, canna <laughs> is going through puberty. She has just got her hormones because she, she's crying over everything. She doesn't even have her period yet. Like she's about to get it. Like she's not even had it. These like, girls are so young. So young. <laughs> we're old as hell, guys. Like we're about to we're about to go through the change and they're not even going through any kind of change. Mm, that's just, it's just a lot of a like, lot of crying. It was like it like just dramatic and I was like, get your shit together, you look weak. Nobody wants a weak woman. Get it together, my Kenna. You're you're a clothier, whatever the hell that means. Okay. Oh, look, look what you dropped. Oh, this is hey, hey guys. Hey, guess what? This is a perfect time to talk about Prong Studios. <laughs> where we film this podcast this is our Facebook beautiful Live. studio it's in amazing. Greenville, South Carolina. So if you guys live in or around here, you guys can come be a part of our live audience. We're, oh my God! You please. can come. You can come watch this show with us. You can come drink champagne. I always bring a bottle of champagne with me, and I you can, can be part of the show, guys. So please be a part of our show with us because mm. I would love to have somebody laugh at my not funny jokes. So oh, that's why I'm here. <laughs> that's why that's why she's here. But no, seriously, it's a super cool setup. It's a great studio. And um, if you want to start your own podcast, contact them. So yeah. there you go. Pronk.tv. And this is our wonderful studio brought to you by Pronk Studios. It's great here. Yeah. Um, we okay. Like it. And yeah. I mean, did you have any questions? Yeah, I, well, I asked you a couple. Oh. Okay, another thing. I saw all of their bunk beds and <laughs> What did I, you sleep in whenever you were on the show, Holly? Every time the show airs, I think, oh, like, that. I remember that room. I remember that room. They slept and then, in knapsacks. Then <laughs> they, they went to the bedroom, one of the bedrooms, and they were all in bunk beds. And I was like, oh, trying to figure out. I was like, was that my room? And I was like, dang, they got way better beds. But we didn't, on my season of The Bachelor, we didn't have bunk beds in my in my room. So I so had like a regular, regular bed. twin bed. Like the real But room? there were five girls packed into one tiny little room. Okay, so. Tiny whenever, room, like a closet. Whenever you were with your girls, like did you become really close with them? Um, I, yeah, I guess at the time you did because you're just, you're, you're bonding over an experience that. Over a guy that over, you're both fighting for. It's just a That's really insane. messed up show. Just the whole like, premise is the, messed up. When you think about it. Like, like, every girl hates guys that cheat, and then they're like, I love watching this show, watching this man kiss all these women. But then it's also like, then they talk about it, like, after the fact. Like, how was your day with Peter? Like, bitch, I'm trying to go on a date with Peter. Like, yeah. And then, <laughs> oh, and then if you're like quiet about it, you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to tell you. And then, then they it's, hate then you. Then they hate you. Yeah. 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 So did y'all hear the one girl talk about like, was it, I think it might've been Alea that they were getting like the date. And then she was like, how do you feel about not getting a date? That was at the beginning of the episode when he announced the date card or somebody Ooh. read the date card. Some, I think he did. And Alea. And she was like, how do you feel so about not getting a date? how do you feel about not getting a date? Like, Dang, bitch, bitch move. Woo. Like, mind your business. I'm about to cry in the bathroom by myself. Like, yeah. So, um, you guys can, this is a very interactive show. We so want it to be, like, ask questions. Like, where are your questions? Yeah, send in questions to us. What do you want to know? Anything behind the scenes? Anything about the show? Let's talk about it. We want to see pictures of your watch party. We yes. want to see you guys drinking with us. So I know that I'm not the only alcoholic. Or you can be here with us. That's we, even more you fun. could if you're local, please. And then Holly not drinking her drink. I right there. am sipping on it, okay? Literally, literally sipping. Put a nipple on it, please. Um... And then, like, we just want to know what, what, what's going on. Like, what do you think? What, what's, what's your fancy? We want to know all yeah, about it. Yeah, who are your favorite girls? Because we are down to 12 girls, guys. Oh, my God. 12 Bro. girls left. Gary. And, like, the ones that I, like, I loved, I'm, like, I'm so sad. Like, Alea, I really liked her. Grandma Rose, like, she wore her grandma's crocheted pants today to cover up her white ass. What? Oh, Yes. Dorothy, Dorothy Watts. What, what do, you do you think, think about, about this his, kissing? His kissing. Okay, so he kisses a lot of girls. A which, lot. That's. I mean, that's. You normal. kiss a lot of girls. That's, <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Where's Demi? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I like her. Mm, um, I hit it. Anyway, so 
that's just like the name of the game and it's gross and it is gross i was on a two-on-one date and i did not know he was previously making out with the girl like making out like and then doing other things and then came and made out with me God. And I did not know until I came back and watched it. And she I, stuck that tongue all the way down no, his throat. Okay. I did. Felt his esophagus. <laughs> everything. <laughs> okay, so I noticed with, with Peter kissing, like, I, in, in movies, I feel like they use a lot of tongue. I feel like he's re- very reserved with his kissing. I feel like, in general, do they tell him, like, do not stick your tongue down her throat. You're going to catch something. Or do most bachelors. Oh, you want to kiss. Like, they want, they want the tongue down, like, uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he must just be a weird kisser if he's not shoving his tongue anywhere. <laughs> so, uh, you heard it here first. You better shove Christy your tongue somewhere. Christy said, Holly, would you ever go on the show again knowing what you know? Well, yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Blake. Peace out, Blake. <laughs> See ya. I'm going to go apply at abc.com backslash The Bachelor. <laughs> I would shit a brick if she did. He uh, tried to apply for me I one remember time. him saying that. I laughed, I laughed so hard. I was like, I could see his um, ass doing that. Yeah, I mean, knowing what I know now, I think I would I would run away with it because I'd be like, I would be so like calm Chill, and cool. Relaxed. I'd be like, yeah, what's up? You want to go hang out? Let's go over here. Let's have a conversation. It's like this, your cool. second time go as on, a mom. Yeah, you know it's like, I mean? go on a date and come back to like, me. Fine, see you guys. later. It, I think it would be... Like, it's fine. It's it would be sailing. easy. Yeah, I know. It'd be easy, I think, until I got... I don't know. I don't... Th- I obviously can't go on the show. And I'm obviously <laughs> way too old I'm for going the on the show. They should have a seniors edition <laughs> of <laughs> the <bench. laughs> Golden Girls. You'd be Maude. <laughs> Abby Rose. What surprised you the most about watching your season afterwards? Oh, okay. So... I, a, that's a good question. I had good never, question, Abby. I had never watched The Bachelor prior to me going on it. I had actually had watched one episode because I had an ex-boyfriend who was obsessed with it, and I happened to be over on a Monday night, and he was like, can't over talk. on a Monday night. Can't talk. I got to watch The Bachelor. Mm-hmm. So I watched one episode, and this is the weird fun fact. The One of the girls that was on that season, it was Travis Stork's season, I believe, one of the girls that was on his season was on a plane next to me one time. Did y'all become best friends? And I friends? was like, I feel like I know you, which is hilarious because people say that all the time to me. I feel like I know you. I'm like, mm-hmm, I know how you know me. But Porn. I'm like. Porn. Yeah. So I, she was like, oh, I was on The Bachelor. Her sister told me she was on The Bachelor. Anyway, years later, I end up being on The Bachelor. And there she writes me and was like, I can't believe you're on this now. That's and that, are y'all small, still friends? Small world. We're Facebook friends. What's so, her name? Um, Jihan. Jihan, hey girl. <laughs> What's up, Jihan? Um, wait, what was Abby's question? What surprised you the most about your season after oh, like, watching so it? Oh, so just watching it and and seeing how I reacted on camera and how I looked on camera and how I talked because you never like you really don't get to no, hear you yourself don't. talk and interact with mm-hmm. people. And I watched it and I was like, oh my gosh, like why did I say that? Why yep. did I do that? Why did I moonwalk? What did Jessica say here? Jessica, Madison is cruising through this because it doesn't seem like there is any competition for her yet. Do y'all think she'll make it far or end soon? I think she'll make it far. I do. Okay, so I have the I have my top three in what I think. I think Madison is going to do really well, obviously. I think she'll do really well. I think Kelly is going to do. That's the attorney, the one that he knew from the hotel. Yes. I mean, uh-huh. and then I think Hannah Ann's going to do well. I think, it, but, okay, so I think that Hannah Ann is going to do well, but I also think that Victoria F., the one from Virginia Beach, for some reason, I don't know, like her last episode when she was very vulnerable and she just was like I'm not like the other girls I think he likes that I don't I I honestly think that but so my top three are Hannah Ann Madison and Kelly I think Madison Hannah Ann and Victoria F is that the Virginia Beach girl the one that was like that my vagina's dry or not oh, dry. Oh, yes. That her one. vagina's wet. But, like, th- her last episode, like, I felt like she was super Shy. vulnerable. And I really think that he liked that. Like, I think that he was totally digging it. We I didn't really see did. a lot of her this episode. No, not, like... But her, I didn't miss she her, She did so. this one time. She goes... And I was like, where's her face? Like, her face went away because she was... 
<laughs> I was like, she, she, I was like, who's yeah, that? She I didn't got no face. I'm sorry, but I didn't miss her this episode. No. Something about her. I think Blonde Victoria will do well. Christina Wellis, I think that she also would do well. I, I just don't think that she's genuine. Something about her. I don't trust something no, about her. And I, I don't, don't either. Yeah, I don't know what it is. She's fake. I feel like there's something that's going to come out. Oh, you guys, did you watch this, the, like, the next episode? Oh, wait, what was it? Spoiler? What was it? Spoiler, what was it? What was it? I didn't even know. I she, forget. Guess who comes back? Oh, oh, not ah. him. Not going to be. Thank God. <laughs> <gasps> but someone gets kicked off and comes back. Like, I can't even deal. Y'all, what about the commercial for next week with Victoria F and her date with her ex, Chase Rice? Oh, wait, wait what? Chase Who's Chase Rice? That's totally set up by producers knowing that info, right? I Who's Chase Rice? Maybe I just didn't see that. I didn't see that either. But, but I, I think we were miking up during that. Who's Chase Rice? Who's Chase Rice? Is that another Bachelor person? I don't know. No. No, you would know. And yeah. I don't know. Is it sounds like a good football player. It sounds like I'm ready to shake and bake, and I helped. Chase Rice. Chase Rice. Chase, Chase Rice. Rice. <laughs> I'm hungry already. <laughs> um, well, listen, this was great. I loved watching. This was I know. Um, the best time ever. I know. But so, like, okay, so with the rose ceremony, like, he literally was like, <laughs> screw <laughs> you, Alea. Like, we're done. Like, we're done. Yeah. And then she comes back. F that. She does. I, I don't want her back. I can't wait to... No, she's coming to clear her name, which, in all honesty, I wish I would have come back. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Are you serious right now, Clark? I'm not about to call my bachelor and be like, that's it. I want answers. I want to know why you sent me He's home. He's married with two kids, <laughs> living his life with a dad bod. <laughs> Tell me why. I'm going to write why? him. I'm going to write him right now. now. Why? Why? Oh, Chris Rice is a country singer. I don't know these things. Okay, so so Victoria dated this guy. Apparently. And then wait, does he come on the show? Ooh. What? How, where were we? Ooh, putting our mics on. Oh God. Mm. All right. There we go. <laughs> Shit fire and save the matches. No. That's not it. Okay, uh, guys. She is very... Listen, mm. this has been wonderful. This has been great, guys. And we cannot wait to watch next episode with you guys. Next episode um, is going to be fun. Tell your friends. All your friends. Have them join the party with tell us. Tell your mama. Come join us here. Get your drink because homegirl is not going to drink hers. Stop peer pressuring me. Drink your drink, Shelby. Drink your juice, Shelby. Well, thank drink your juice. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts. Yes, listen to us because who else is going to listen to us yeah. except and for us? And go watch the greatest videos ever of Megan from Mexico on our Instagram page Arriba! at What the Bachelor. And um, just don't forget to share, like, comment, post, and there you go. Ask lots of questions. Yeah. Can't wait to talk to you guys next week. Bye, Bye. guys.